Hello everybody, today we're going to be making a external C++ uh, program that uh, writes memory to a pointer that has offsets. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, if you go into Cheat Engine here, I have a, just a cheat table for um, a salt cube. So, if you go here, um, you go into a single player game, attach a process, you can see I have uh, a pointer here. Um, this is just the ammo. You know, I can change it to whatever I want, and then I'll change my ammo here. Um, and if you don't know what what a pointer is here, um, I'm gonna link a video in the description by Exploit Academy. It's a video on how to get static addresses um, using pointer scanning. So I recommend you watch that video first. Um, I'm also gonna be uh, giving you this this uh, cheat table that I have that has the gun ammo, pistol ammo, and the health. Uh, in the description so you can just follow along with me there. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be writing C++, so let's get into it. So we're just going to open up uh, Visual Studio. We're going to create a new project, empty project. Um, I'm just going to call it um, Assault Cube Base. Alright, I'm going to press Create. Now once we're in, I'm going to go right here, to go to Properties, go to Advanced, and Change to Multibyte Character Set. Click Apply. And then I'm going to go to Source Files, Add New Item, and I'm just going to call it Main. Alright, so there's a few things we need to include. Uh, we're going to include Windows.h. Um, I'm going to just uh, close out of Cheat Engine real quick. There we go. We're going to include tl help 32.h. We're going to include IO stream. We're going to include um, tchar.h. We're going to include vector. And then lastly, we are going to include stdlib.h. Alright, um, and then we're going to do using namespace std, and now I have uh, two functions that, um, one of them I wrote, uh, get pointer address, uh, and the other one is the get module base address, so I have those in a paste bin, you can just go right here, and uh, just copy it, and then go here, and paste it in. So the get module base address is uh, well, how we get a base address from a module, and then the get pointer address is getting like the actual address, like combining the offsets and like the base address and all that stuff. Um, so now that we have this, um, you don't really need to worry about any of these functions. Uh, we don't need to edit any of the code. Uh, we're just going to use them. So we're going to make our main function. So in main, um, and then inside of there, we're going to uh, do hwnd. And HWND stands for handle to window. Um, and we're going to do HWND underscore AC. Uh, so the handle to the window for um, uh, salt cube. And then we're going to do find window A. And then null, comma. And then the name of our process. Or of our window, sorry. So if we just hover over a salt cube, you can see right there a salt cube. Um, so we're just going to type it in a salt cube. Make sure it's the right one. Yep. All right. And then we're just going to do uh, getting the um, handle to the window. All right. And then we're going to do uh, if hwnd underscore ac is not equal to false. Uh, then we're going to continue on and do dword process id equals null PID for short. I'm going to do get window thread process ID HWND underscore AC and PID. Alright, so now we're getting like the, the process ID from the window from our HWND underscore AC. Um, and then we're going to do a process handle, so handle P handle and then we're just going to call it null. 
or set it to null. Forgot to put the semicolon here. Um, just put it in there, and then we're gonna do p handle, and that's gonna equal open process. Open process process underscore all underscore access false and then PID. And then we're gonna do if p handle equals equals invalid underscore handle underscore val uh, value. And then we're gonna do p handle is equal to null. And then we're going to actually uh, get our module. So we're going to do char, and then we can just call this I don't know, um, game module one. All right, and then do uh, two brackets. I don't know what the word is for those, but anyway. And here we're going to put in the name of our module. So we find this by going into Cheat Engine. So let me just go open up the cheat table here. All right, since I have it opened, I'm just gonna select this little cube here. Yes, keep. And then we're gonna be using uh, the gun ammo just for a little uh, test, I guess. Um, and I'm just gonna set the value back down to uh, zero there. Um, and if we click on the address here, there's a few things that we can see. So we have our uh, offsets here. We can tell it's a pointer because it's checked. And then we have, this is the module, and this is the base address. So right here we see ac underscore client.exe. So we're just going to put that right in here, ac underscore client.exe. Now this will work for any game. Uh, you'll just need to change the window. Um, obviously you'll have different pointers and offsets, um, and then obviously a, a different uh, module. Um, some games have like DLLs. Uh, it might be I don't know, like for CS:GO, it's client.dll, for example. But anyway, so. Once we have our uh, game module, now we're going to get the uh, base address from that module. So we're going to do D word. Uh, we're just going to call it, uh, I don't know, we can call it game base address one. And then we're going to set this equal to get module base address. And then in parentheses, underscore T, more parentheses, and then we call it game module one, comma, PID. All right, so now we have uh, the base address of the module, and we can go on to um, making variables for our pointers and offsets and all that. So right here, I'm just gonna make a comment, this is ammo. Also, I'm just gonna print some comments here. So uh, getting the module base address, I'll do process handle. Um, all right, and now we're going to do uh, a D word, and this is going to be the base address. So we're just going to call it ammo address. This is equal to um, 0x, just to signify that it's a hexadecimal value. And then we're going to go right here, and we're just going to take this value right there, throw it in there. All right, and now we're going to do vector D word. And then it's going to be uh, ammo offsets, and then brackets, a semicolon there. And then inside of here, we're going to be putting all of our offsets here. So the first one is 0x22c. The next one is 0xec. The next one is 0x390. And then 0x3c8. There we go. All right, and now we are going to actually take that address, take the offsets, and uh, combine them, basically. Uh, and we're going to be using the get pointer address function up here that I made. So we're going to do D word ammo pointer address. And this is going to be equal to get pointer address. And then there's four parameters we need to input. We need to put in the handle to the window, the game base address, the uh, actual address of the ammo, and then the offsets. So we are going to do uh, hwnd underscore ac. We're going to do uh, the game base address one here. So game base address one. And then we're going to put in our ammo address. And we're going to put in our uh, ammo offsets. All right? 
And now we have the uh, pointer address, and we can go on to actually writing memory. So we're going to do writing memory, and then we're going to do while true, so we're going to make an infinite loop. And then inside here, we're just going to do, I don't know, int ammo equals whatever you want. We can do, I don't know, uh, 1337. And then we're just going to do write process memory. And then we need to put in our process handle. We're going to do lp void star. And then we're going to do our ammo pointer address. And then and. And then the value that we're writing. So we're writing this ammo right here. So ammo. And then we're going to do 4 and 0. So once we have this, um, we can actually uh, start a program. We have this. Maybe like, what's this? So let me put the semicolon. Um, basically, um, if you're going to do something like health, all you need to do is uh, do another one of these, except changing the address here and the offsets. And then, of course, just changing variable names. And then in here, you would just put right here, change it to be the health pointer address, and then right here is the value that you're writing. So, uh, for instance, we're doing ammo here. Uh, it's just an integer that's set to one three three seven. So once we have this, um, we can go into soul cube here, and then we can actually just uh, debug the program. All right, once it's done, we should see this little window launches. All right, go into soul cube, and we can see that our ammo is now set to one three three seven. If we shoot, you can see that our ammo is not going down. So there you go. Um, that was a little just basic tutorial on uh, writing memory to uh, pointers with offsets. Um, if you want some more C++ videos, let me know. Um, yeah, that's it.